The Lannisters are here in the Riverlands at the Golden Hoof, fighting in the War of the Five Kings, and they are here to take the Riverlands for themselves and to win the War of the, War of the Five Kings. And, well, this is a great battle. I mean, it's in history, it's, well, in, I mean, in lore, it's a great battle, and uh, it's a costly victory, uh, well, decisive victory for the, um, Westlands, but it's a costly, costly defeat for the uh, Rivermen. They can't really afford to lose this. They l and uh, this is one of the first defeats that they face in the Battle of the Five, uh, the War of the Five Kings. And there you go. There's a great charge going off there by the Lancer Lance Cavalry. As you can see, I'm commanding it because uh, the Seven Kingdoms mod is a bit, still a bit broken and uh, doesn't really, uh, well, work with replay. So I mean, the cavalry here. Battling it out. What is this broken there? Gregor Clegane just broke. Wow. Um, but yes, I was about to say, we have an all assortment of interesting units here. The cavalry is just charged in. As it does, the AI just charges in willy-nilly. And now we're going to have the infantry cut clash begin, you do imagine. Um, but yeah, I mean, this. I'll put it in a lot of slow mode, so you're going to see a lot of uh, interesting stuff that goes on. You might want to charge in, chap, so you might also want to charge in. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of reserves ready uh, and prepared for this initial clash. I mean, we've got Edmund Tully. He's waiting up there in the Golden Tooth himself with a reserve force that will be arriving very soon. And it shall come to the aid of the Riverman, and it, I'm sure it will win. Win the battle, win the day. In fact, I expect no less. Oh my gosh, there's a huge line of force there that's uh, getting it out. Uh, outflanking the men of uh, the Rivermen or the Rivermen. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the content recently on the channel. If you have, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And if there's any other like Game of Thrones scenarios that you'd like me to try and do, then uh, do let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to seeing uh, more. Uh, like of this Seven Kingdoms mod on the on the channel. And if you'd like to see more, then please do let me know. What are the archers doing here, though? That is a good question. Archers retreat. Heal, heal. Shoot there. And these pikes are getting outflanked. We might need to go help them. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, looking a bit dire already. So I'm going to bring down the first wave of the... Oh, I do apologize. Of the infantry. We're going to bring them down. And I uh, don't know why it paused all of a sudden. Probably because I uh, tapped out slightly. But uh, there we go. All sorted. Nothing to worry about. And uh, I mean, this is a nasty, nasty infantry fight, as you can see here. This is the far left flank. The spear is getting engaged. I mean, the swords here, though, are getting outnumbered and outgunned. I mean, Lannister House Guard here, just destroying lives. It looks like we could already do with the uh, next wave. I'm going to bring the next wave down already. So we'll uh, bring them down, and Edmer Tully can come running down the hill so we can see these guys coming out. This is the House Guard stuff. This is the spears and the swords of the House Guard of Tully. And we have Edmer Tully here as well. No blackfish today. Yeah, I mean, there's a mess of stuff in there. A mess of stuff in there. And then we've got... What is this? Cavalry's back. Okay, well, you might as well rally up, get ready. Uh, we probably actually want to take out some of these archers. But, I mean, you can see now that the sort of stabilizing situation, the initial clash was pretty worrying, but now we're sort of stabilizing the position across the entire line. I mean, then I just hit our men are breaking off, and then I'm just like, damn it. Maybe they're not stabilized the line, but uh, these units are awesome. I mean, the Tully forces look so, like, basic in comparison to, like, the armor of the Lannisters. They've just got, like, basic chain mail. I mean, these are the axe units. We've also got pikes now coming in for the Lannisters. They will be key. And uh, I think Jamie Lannister's in the fight here. Yeah, there he is. Jamie Lannister led the army 
of uh, well the Tully, uh, not the Tullys, certainly did not lead the army of the Tullys, he led the army against the Tullys, or uh, word it like that. But uh, yeah, so I expect a victory from him again today, and it looks like we're going to win the right flank by the looks of it. Looks like we are going to win this right flank. The cavalry is being a bit buggy here. Don't know what the Lannister Cavs doing, but uh, we won't worry about that too much. My archers are uh, getting outgunned. I'm not quite sure. Probably by the uh, opposing archers. They look like they're getting focused down. But uh, we're going to take theirs down with us. So that's what matters. And then, yeah, these pikes are just getting absolutely destroyed. We have another pike unit somewhere, so I mean, it's not all lost if we lose this one, but I don't really want to lose either. And here we go, and again, get a flank in here from the Tully Spears. They're going to come help save the day. But yes, this is one of the final vi uh, like final defeats for Edmund Tully, and uh, I think the realization by his uh, his fellow lords that he's not a very good commander, and he's been focused down as uh, Edmund Tully. He's about to get a charge off here. Saw saw the aftermath of that. He's uh, yeah, there he is, right at the front, battling it out. He's gonna get he's pretty bloodied up. Might need some support from his uh, from his fellow warriors. But yeah, the center is going. The center is very much gone. At this point, might need to send spears, uh, archers in just to hold the line. Yeah, our general has fallen. Our Edmund Tully has died. And here comes the reserves. They're dashing out the gate, but not quickly enough. Falling, but our men are falling back. They're retreating. Yeah, our f left flank has fully gone now. And here come the archers. They're going to get engaged by the house spear guard. The house spear guard, that was just not right at all. Um, the spear guard of the Lannisters. And there go our men. And it does look like the Tully Force is going to be just defending this final like area around here now. This is where they're going to hold beneath the Golden Tooth quite literally now. All the forces of the Lannisters are raining, well, death upon the... Uh, the Tully is quite literally right now. I think those poor archers, look at them out there. And this is a house and that's a house guard unit there. Already not feeling so good. The men's resolve is failing. If we can get Jamie Lannister, then I mean there's a good chance we can uh, turn the battle on its head. But I don't think we will. I mean, this mod just looks so great. I can't. I wish I got was getting more work, but it's really not. And there comes a the cavalry that's going to just engage, just throw itself in. And there we go. The final dregs of the units are coming out, coming to defend this area here. I mean, there we go. Those uh, spears going in. They kind of dealt with the cavalry there. Let's see if we can flank these guys. Let's get as many flanks as possible. I don't think we're going to get uh, Jamie anytime soon. He's far too well defended at the moment. Well, possibly actually. If we can get flank around here, then we could have got a good chance. Yeah. 
There is a chance. Look at that. It's glorious, this mod. And here we go, we can flank around here with this spear unit, and it's going to be really, really hard now. I mean, look at the sheer amount of Lannisters left. There's just far too many of them, but they're falling back. Some of the units are falling back for some reason. I guess trying to get a new flank or a new angle, I don't know, but we're going to fl uh, flank these house guard here, which are now losing. But our uh, house guard over there are holding the line. We can possibly get to them in a moment. Just need to kill this unit of... Uh, House guard off. Surround it fully. These poor guys. They're like, ah, we were doing so well. We were gonna, we're on the winning side, but we're still gonna die. I mean, it is likely that Lannisters is gonna win this fight. They've taken a victory point. What? <laughs> How are they taking that? They're not even inside the city. That is bizarre, but okay. And the other one's over here, by the camp. I would have thought they'd taken that one before they get into the city one. Not quite sure how they managed that. And I mean, we, we were gonna get counter flanked, so we've had to turn around and we're now gonna have to face down these swords. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for the old Tullys. I mean, we're forcing back this flank, but at what cost, really? Oh, and the cavalry's in behind. That's never a good sign. That's never a good sign. But we should win this one. I mean, they keep actually pour they're pouring in more troops into this, like, little choke point. It's not even a choke point. This little uh, death zone. It's brutal. Brutal fight now. I, I think the... Uh, the Tully House Guard could have been useful right at the start. We might need them right away. I was kind of keeping a reserve to represent these guys like representing the garrison. And uh, yeah, I feel like the garrison might be needed straight off the bat. And it looks like the cavalry's in. Is that Jamie Lannister? Yeah, I think it is. I think Jamie Lannister's bodyguard is uh, moving on. And yeah, I think something broke here. I think something might have broke there. And uh, the uh, Tully cordon gets ever smaller, ever tighter. That's not good. That is not good. And yeah, these units are getting surrounded now. No surprise. Outnumbered with the Tullys. Outclassed. Really, I think the Lannister forces are just so much better. Yeah, it's a shame that like most of the replays for this don't really work. Um, I try like I've had a few attempts trying to get this to work, and uh, actually no, let's have you turn around and go after these guys. No, you need to stay there. You stay. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, just as I say that, it doesn't go to plan. But yeah, it looks like they, things are going to start a break now. It's not a good sign. Oh dear. But yeah, sadly, yeah, replays don't work. So I have to command it myself. I mean, you do get in and see how I play battles and stuff like that. I mean, usually I wouldn't play like this. I kind of did it in favor of uh, the Tullys. Losing like in history. I kind of wanted to give the AI a chance. And uh, I gave it a bit too much of a chance, possibly putting my troops too far back, giving myself poorer troops. But we're going to see the massacre that happened like at the Golden Tooth. We are truly going to see that today. And this uh, like cordon over here is about to get cut off. So we've got pikes over here. Hold to the last man for the Riverlands. For their lives. 
And yeah, there you go. That flank's all entirely gone. And I think it's just, yeah, there you go. A valiant defeat for House Tully. And uh, uh, probably a decisive victory probably for... Um, well, certainly a close victory for the Westlands. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a look at some of the uh, end results. I mean, I've got 192 kills with my archers. 362 and 361 actually with some others. Uh, a lot of them getting like really, really good kills. My Axemen not doing so great, getting 93 kills. Uh, my Pikes only getting 14 and 2. They were a real shame. They could have done really, really well if they got set up properly. Um, my Spears got 148 and 118. Um, and my Tully Swords getting 100, uh, 262, which is not bad. 120. Some of the others not doing so well. Uh, Tully Cavalry only 11 kills, but the Lance Cavalry getting 114. House Guard getting 114 kills. I think that's the best one. And then the Spears getting, I think the best one got 83. Uh, but yeah, they came to a bit too, too little too late. And then, uh, I mean, Jamie Lannister getting 78 kills, so well done to him. Um, Archer's getting 302 kills, and another one getting 201. Um, their Pike's not doing so well either, to be fair. Uh, and then their Lance of Swords, I think the best one, getting 123 kills. Oh, no, 135. Uh, Lance Cavalry, I mean, they had a lot of cavalry, but it didn't seem to do that well. I think the best one getting, like, 33 kills. Their House Guard, uh, 214. That's pretty damn good. A lot of others getting, like, 171, 149. Um, and then the House Guard Spears uh, getting 134, I think the best one. Gregor Clegane died pretty quickly and early. And only getting 13 kills. And the catapult getting uh, 79 kills. Which is not too bad either. So uh, yeah. That is uh, the Battle of the Golden Tooth. If you enjoyed them. Please do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment if you'd like to see more Seven Kingdoms action. And until next time Legionnaires. Bye for now.